Hello, everyone. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. Hi, Nan. Hi. Good afternoon. Yeah, good, good afternoon. Good morning. Yes. <laughs> yeah, multiple times. Um, all right. I guess let's start. So let's see if anybody else connects while we are uh, kind of kicking it off. So I'll share my screen. I'll oh, wait just a second. Just need to do a little setup for my um, screen sharing. One more moment, please. Okay, almost there. All right, so welcome to um, July 13, 2023, Aries VCX community call. And uh, Hyperledger Antitrust Policy Notice is in effect. And uh, let's get right into it. So, uh, yeah, um, there's no introductions today. We all are familiar with each other and know a new members today um so we can skip that step and just going to the mentorship updates so um since uh i think we, we had a one skip meeting last week uh i think just before that we have completed these uh, project plans for our men oh what is this okay this is a wrong link this is not what I wanted to put here. Uh, let me fix that real quick. Uh, is this still wrong? Oh, that's good. I know why it says draft. That's strange. Okay. Uh, either way, I'll fix it later. It works in my browser. Uh, so we have uh, project plans for the mediator and for the mobile wrapper. We have like a nice uh, checklist here of the stuff uh, which has been done. So we can like watch the progress kind of live as things are progressing. Um, yeah, and we have uh, also the same kind of a plan uh, for for the FI wrapper. Um, we have only nine on the call today. And then would you like to give uh, some kind of uh, update on uh, on the medi on the mediator uh, project?
if, if you have something, it, it's fine. If 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 you don't, uh, you know, if you if you don't feel ready, it, it's fine. But if you have something to share, how 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 things are going, you can you can do that. Yes, I can give a quick update. Um, so as you can see in the uh, the project plan on the website, uh, the one you just linked earlier. Yes. So we've started on the HTTP server, uh, finally finalized on Axon framework. We have uh, done the research and selected it finally. And we have now started the coding paths. Uh, so initially, uh, I've been doing a skeleton service, and uh, that's been going nicely. Uh, CI and everything also is being uh, put into place. I haven't linked the project there, but uh, I can share it off screen. Uh, yes, so you've got CI on there, you've got uh, implementation of an E2E test, and like uh, just included logging. So, yes, the basic structure is taking form now. Uh, this week, I will be studying the pickup protocol and about using database to store our messages. Uh, so that's what we'll be doing this week. Basically. So uh -huh. taking, yeah, taking stock of uh, all the protocols and uh, the details and trying to formalize a structure for how to save them in the database uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's the stuff that's going on right now formalizing the data structures and uh, the rough sketch of what the mediator service is going to be like, mainly the data part. Right, yeah, that, that sounds good. That sounds, sounds like a plan. Uh, yes, yeah, so thank you for, for update. Uh, is there a re repo where, uh, where you are pushing the comments where we can have a look? Yes, yes. Uh, just Maybe minute. if you can post it in the chat. Uh, yeah, so you can just post it in chat and, uh, I'll, uh, uh, oh, we, we can have a, oh yeah, awesome. There it is already. Uh, yes, so this is a test server. Uh -huh. uh, it has just the basics. Like this is not going to be the mediator. This is right. like, uh, the skeleton structure just to try things out first. And then mm. this will form kind of the basis for how the mediator is going to be. So we're mm -hmm. like just doing the basics here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, okay, cool. Um right. So let's go further. Uh I about the we, we don't have uh Sopnil here, but uh and, and neither George today, but I did see that there is uh well that there is uh, some sort of progress and there is a PR. Uh, initialize unified demo and script. Uh, so it's quite a quite a chunk of code apparently. Uh, so this is in progress. Uh, I'll have a look at it later and see maybe from Swapnil how how is this how, some some sort of update. What, what's the state of of this right now? Um, I think. Uh, I think George left a message uh, about me missing this today's meeting. No updates other than I'll need to review the UniFFI build script ASAP. So I guess that was about the PR. All right. Um, then next up, uh, the kind of overview of the work done. So we have completed uh, in the past two weeks the uh, migration from VDR tools to CredX, uh, migrating the wallet. We already have the like code support and the, the integration support for CredX libraries for a while. Um, at the same time, we also did um, um, uh, some changes to LibVCX to be able to run it with uh, credx anon creds and uh 
and in the VDR ledger client. Uh, there's a PR still open with this, failing some one random test. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's very close to completion. Uh, so hence I just I just put it here. Um, uh, then we had uh, yeah Unif five wrapper. We covered that. Uh, we have uh, unreviewed PR from from Bogdan about adding support for migration through Node.js wrapper. So this is yet to be reviewed. Looks uh, pretty simple. Um, and then we had a messages create uh, fix. Uh, I don't exactly know what this was about. Bogdan, can you shed some light what this fix was about? Yeah. So in like in short, it was about um, updating, bumping the survey dependencies and the fact that some internals in survey changed and that was messing up the release message deserialization. Uh, so this not only takes care of that, but actually simplifies the Aries message deserialization so that it relies on less internal stuff from Saturday. Um, so that should essentially lead to less breakage in the future. Mm -hmm. I actually am not expecting this to be happening ever again. The only things that are now internal and used from Saturday are the buffer type, the content. Um, and the content deserializer. So these are pretty much there to stay. Uh, there's actually, I don't, know, I don't even know how to name it, but there are, uh, it is being planned to basically expose this as public API at some point, um, mm -hmm. or rather to allow implementations of deserialized to provide their own buffer types, but that uh, apparently is pending on the default associated types, which are still unstable. Um, yeah, so I, I honestly don't expect this to be happening anytime soon. So here, what changed is that tag, what's it called? Tag content visitor and the other stuff that was being used there regarding that. Um, and we no longer rely on that. So uh, that should be that should be fine. If by any I know for any reason, we're still gonna have problems in the upcoming future, maybe in the near future, especially then I guess we can change it and just rely on public stuff, um, even though it would be a bit sad, but nonetheless. Right, yeah. And I maybe for, for people that are not up to speed regarding what, what this is about is basically just our makeshift implementation of, um, of a tagged enum, because that's what the messages are. And this allows us to basically deserialize, like further deserialize into a specific message type based on the on the message structure, message uh, data type, let's say, based on the message type field itself, uh, which would have otherwise been uh, convoluted or annoying or <laughs> complex. Right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think that that kind of explains it. I remember when we talk about. Uh, I mean, I, I remember uh, when we kind of uh, this looked a bit mysterious at the time of merging the PR, and uh, and there were there were some uh, concerns that uh, if the API changes, so it actually happened. But it's good that we. Uh, I mean, as you explained, it it should be all right. I mean, it's no no biggie. Even now, we f solved it with ease. Yeah, okay. so previously it was mimicking the um, the derived implementation that Serdi provides for types when you, because that's where the inspiration came from, and it was mimicking that more closely, which it doesn't do anymore. It's uh, mm. more custom made, let's say, or right. tailored rather for our use case. I see. I see. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. By the way, I see it is, we have we got uh, Abhishek uh, joining the call. Welcome. Um, just, just maybe uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just uh, st stop for a second. Uh, this Abhishek, would you like to add anything on agenda? You know, if you have anything particular, uh, you 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 came here to discuss or something like that. Yeah. Well, uh, hello everyone. Yeah. So uh, I'm just trying the uh, iOS demo of TVCX and. Uh, 
I installed the latest VCX framework as well and uh, studying the header files of Swift. Uh, so at the moment means, uh, yeah, Patrick uh, has uh, helped me in various, uh, to understand various fundamentals and concepts. So I think by the next week, I will be able to contribute to you guys as well. So for now, I am just trying the VCX as demo and uh, uh, once I will, uh, I will be able to hit all their functions and methods properly. And then I will uh, try to update the repository as well for the latest code or everything. Mm, so that's my plan at the moment. And yeah, and thank you everyone uh, for helping me out uh, in the VCX. Uh, okay, so, uh, so uh, I, I, I see where you're coming from. So I'll just put here in, in case you would have, you know, if we have like a, a time left and I think we would, we can like further maybe you know talk uh, like uh, talk a bit about vcx or whatever comes to your mind if you have some questions or anything so i'll just put here like vcx uh live vcx discussion um all right um i'll just put it there uh, and let's so let's continue in the in our agenda. So we covered this one, and then well, it's pretty brief, I think. Um, so in stuff in progress, uh, I think it's pretty clear what we are busy with. So, uh, so we have kind of a research about the uh, credx to unknown creds RS migration right now ongoing uh, by Bogdan, and then we have. Did exchange stuff. Uh, also, I would say like research because it's like uh, uh, pioneering kind of a new approach for the state machine implementation from from Mira. Um, so maybe let's let's stop at the at the first point. Uh, if you could kind of uh, give an update, pu public update on this uh, on this uh, on this uh, progress, uh, Bogdan. um an update yeah well yeah basically just trying to accommodate that essentially let's say that our infrastructure was mainly built around indie and on creds tries to be or aims to be i guess ledger agnostic and that poses some problems in terms of implementation um that's that's pretty much it. I'm still working on retrofitting it, or not retrofitting, but I don't know, just just fitting it into our our current uh, API, and still struggling with that from from some aspects. Particularly, the revocation is something that, and everything related to that is something that's uh, let's say drastically changed. Um, yeah. So not really much of an update, it's really just I don't know, trying to to figure it all out. Yeah, maybe just I mean I'm kind of repeating myself maybe from like uh, other calls or even like private calls, but but if, if things get tricky, I think we we always have the option to I think uh, kind of keep old API uh, kind of. Well, just try to go with that approach that we wouldn't try to preserve issuance of the old based on old credential definitions post migration, and but I guess we would need to keep the revocation. Uh, that's the tricky part, actually. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, bottom line is that we could sort of disregard what we have right now and start from scratch, but that means we cannot really properly test it. Or, I mean, we can, but that would involve like a lot of work in, in its own right. Whereas if we manage to implement it into our current infrastructure, we would be able to reuse all the tests and everything that's already in place, uh, especially from a migration standpoint and ensure that things keep on working um right. so yeah it's it's really uh i don't know 
chicken and egg kind of problem. Mm -hmm. You either do it separately, but then you cannot really test properly, or you try to make it and force it into our infrastructure, which is really painful, but then you at least get to be able to test it properly. And mm -hmm. maybe as well worth mentioning is that the overall plan is if, the, like when this is ultimately done and it works and we have tested it thoroughly, uh, we can pretty much drop the CredX and VDR tools implementation. So this will be the only one because it relies on the actual Anon Creds V1 specification. So that's supposed to be universal at least. Um, so then this won't be a problem anymore. It's just a matter of really this, this transitioning that we want to be careful about. And that's posing problems as well. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see how things go, uh, how, how things flesh out after a week. I guess maybe we'll have some uh, clearer idea or picture. Uh, next up, the did exchange protocol. Uh, I know, Mira, that you're also like facing various challenges and you identified some some possibly like preliminary uh like work which which could be done so can can you uh can you do some sort of like update or you know share your thoughts on on uh things to be done maybe ahead of the exchange itself mm. well the update um there is a very uh, Groot, like incomplete, um, hacky, and just very, very bad implementation, as if you can call it that, ready right now. And I'm trying to get a very basic end to end test passing to have, to have at least something. But as you know, there is uh, still, and as you said, there's still a huge list of to do's uh, we need to get to uh, before we reach any kind of acceptable uh, level of implementation. And so like what has been done so far uh, was mainly uh, kind of to do to do discovery, I would say, uh, rather than uh, reaching some kind of uh, robust or even uh, usable implementation, I guess. So I, I have those tools prioritized and uh, and I will just be going through them one by one uh, when I'm done with the test. Uh, I guess right. like th there is no there is no need to like go through these tools right now. Mm -hmm. Like th there are some are bigger, some are smaller. Uh, most of them is just like they are not particularly difficult they are just there's just a lot of them so there's like no blocker except there is a lot of a lot of tools mm. oh it's it's uh, that's kind of the better i guess uh case when although there's lots of tools at least we know what to do <laughs> rather than <laughs> being clueless about it and also everyone be aware that like Miro is, Miro is overly self-critical so I'm sure that the implementation is not as bad and hacky no, <laughs> as I don't know <laughs> all right uh yeah so I guess after we have this uh yeah this will be kind of uh kind of uh canonical like example implementation for the for the next um next next um state machine re-implementation so it's good to have a high bar and and this will also enable us like much better testing uh and then we have one more item in progress um from george and i think that kind of relates basically it's kind of a simple mediator uh like extremely simple mediator rather just like a message queue or like message store or something like that with just a few endpoint endpoints um i think this is mainly to um 
to help out um, Swapnil to sh shield him off from uh, complexities of the message, you know, full ball message mediation. So just kind of very simple uh, a message store he could use. And also, I think George wants to use this in a kind of Ellis Faber demo, uh, showcasing how how Ellis VCX is, is can be used. Uh, so yeah, this is this is this is in progress. Uh, I don't know how far off, but um, I don't expect to be this um, like too complex. So it might be that this is almost close to completion as it is. I think. Um, and what else? That's kind of it, I suppose. Uh, let me check out pull requests which are open. If there's anything I have possibly missed, that's a unit five from Swapnail. A migration, this is mine, just to be fixed the last test there. We have the, the relay for testing and then some some older PRs, uh, most of them stuck for a reason, for one, for one reason or another. Um, I don't think these are going to be merged in time soon. Uh, yeah, so I guess that that's it. Uh, upcoming work, busy with credx, busy with um, did exchange, and I guess one more important uh, like item. Will be the AATH back channel update. Uh, Mira, is this something you are planning to do in the end, uh, beforehand, before the did exchange, or what's your thoughts on doing the A it's, AATH? Uh, that would be a, like the best way to mm, to verify that it works, wouldn't it? Uh, the mm. the did channel implementation to update the back channel. And try try run audit exchange tests against other other frameworks. Yeah, that would be that would be definitely great co confidence confirmation. Mm -hmm. But I guess after we have our own local test, right? That will be maybe the reasonable next step. Mm -hmm. All right, sounds sounds good. So that kind of brings us to the end. Um, now we have like time to spare. So Abhishek, if, if you have anything, you know, you would like to, or anyone actually, also Nayan or Abhishek or anyone else, uh, we can we can uh, spend sp spare some time. So maybe before we uh, like go into here, does anyone else have any any kind of a topic or thing you would like to discuss together? So, so should I go ahead? Uh, so I think we can go ahead, yeah. Yeah, okay. So well, uh, so as per your uh, suggestion, I was looking at the references you given. I My purpose is to uh, generate the invitation link so that I can use it in our methods. So currently provision uh, button is working, partially working fine because I'm get, able to get use the mediator link and uh, also getting the response from the init method. But uh, mm -hmm. later it is uh, after few seconds it is breaking maybe in some uh, background thread it is breaking which is uh, on low priority at the moment so but overall uh, provision button is working fine so my next step is to test the invitation link and uh, accept offer or uh, accept the vc so right for that uh, i need to use some favor or something to generate the uh, accept uh, sorry invitation link uh, i we also have a uh, means um, temporary server where we are generating the VC uh, and uh, the of uh, the invitation link, but uh, maybe we have used the Python library to generate the uh, link so that it is not working in our demo. So for now, um, sorry, sorry, I'll, I'll just stop you for a second. So uh, now when you're like doing this testing, are you using that that third party demo uh, for, the, yes. for the application? Yes. Ah, so that means that uh, the the version of VCX the the version of VCX running in that demo it it's probably f fairly old, right? Okay. 
yeah, yeah. Well, let me check that actually so we have uh where was it uh vcx where is vcx and i don't know if we are linking them all from here or not only vcx uh ah and you are using this one yes second one yes ah uh, i was demo and let me see if i can by a chance find out what's the version of vcx here some pot file maybe not no ah 042 that's like uh very very i uh, bump vcx to version 042 yeah so like that's like really really old i mean that's like uh well according to the last at, le at least three years old so so i don't know where it depends what you are using to generate invitations but you know chances are that uh perhaps since this has been released the maybe the 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 kind of the modern invitations you might generate from some library they they look a bit different than what we worked with three years ago so it, it might be uh, difficult i i don't you know i'm i'm not so sure what, is, what would be what is, the current version? what is the latest version of uh, vcx uh Can the work? latest version is uh 50 zero 056 so that's zero like six, yeah zero six. 056 so that's like you know like almost like 40 40 releases uh ahead well three years of time so yeah like the the you might try to, like accepting the invitation um, i don't know you might get it working after all it was it was like standards which didn't move so much but it really depends i guess what software you are using to generate these invitations but um you know it might work or it might not and there won't be like there's not a reasonable like uh, easy way to kind of support you if you run into any issues so right. it, it would be it would be like my you know maybe you will definitely it, it's, it's longer road and uh, maybe you know you run into different challenges but at the same time much more straightforward if you rather try to update the vcx version to to the latest and then you'll run into like issue or oh, some function maybe doesn't exist and the API is a little bit different. You will have to fix thing or two. But then once you reach the point that you are trying to accept the invitations, then it will be much more, you know, easier to argue about or debug or try to figure out what, what is wrong because it's the latest version and it's working with like Akapai or these like other issuers, the other frameworks. So I, I would recommend to primarily try to update the v6 version first and then it'll be easier to you know to kind of ar argue about okay yeah yes perfect so yeah i already downloaded the latest uh, yeah xc framework already and uh, installed in that separate poc so i am trying to implement it but uh, first of all i'm uh, yeah understanding every method so that's where I'm at the moment. So can you guide me in a different, in a second position, like uh, how to generate the invitation link if uh, if I will be able to uh, run the new XC framework in a PC? Right. Yeah, uh, so um, I guess uh, one way would be you could use the VCX framework itself to, you know, to kind of mm -hmm. build uh kind of a server application for like generating invites and accepting connections kind of like ser server side agent uh or maybe easier again just a, a different type of challenges you you can just run the other option will be to just run akapai are you are you familiar with akapai no no ah uh, so there is a this like very popular uh institutional and uh, not by by this is there's this popular implementation and it's uh like server side so this is 
basically a service which institutions would typically run you know like uh, uh some some company a favor would run this and generate the invitation and use this to issue credentials you know this is like a full-blown like uh rest api with the didcom and vc aries capabilities um so we can run this i think in docker and then generate use the rest api to to create um invitation and then pass that invitation to your you know uh to your mobile application and you should be able to establish connection you know and then consequently you would be able to issue credential through this api it will be easier than uh i guess building your own issuer okay but yeah it's a uh, it's like based on python and <laughs> so it can be sometimes tricky to run uh, python stuff locally i think uh I, but i think you can run it in docker and that might be a lot more straightforward to get 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 up and running okay. I'll, I'll post it in a chat so we can just have a look at it Yeah, and then maybe one more thing to just kind of give you heads up about is that uh you know we have we are running this mentorship uh, uh program now and we have two mentees and one of them is you know, like built working on the uni ffi um aries vcx wrapper uh so as you might be aware we have this poc right now with a little bit of code there's not much readmes uh, it's kind of a work in progress and we have the this uh, menti kind of working further on this uh here's a pr now uh it's lots of lines added i haven't didn't have a chance to review it but apparently there, just just to let you know that there is you know work ongoing on this so yeah. maybe maybe eventually like within a few weeks you would have like kind of a a third option to to try to go with you know this uni ffi okay excellent. Mm. okay um anything else from anyone um just one thing uh, no. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, yes. So tomorrow I have a like I'm giving a tutorial as a local workshop. So is it fine to delay tomorrow's meeting to next Tuesday? Yeah, sure. We can if if you can't, then we can shift it to next Tuesday. That's okay. Yes, uh, I wanted to make it, but like the tutorial is at exactly the same time as I said in meetings. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, or if you want, we can just move the time tomorrow. But if you just can't attend, then we can do Tuesday status update. That's okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. So Tuesday would be good, and I, I will try to get in touch with you and. Also, Bob, then you were mentioning mentioned about the message grid. So, yes, um, I will get in touch with the team today itself rather than wait till tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, so, a few things just to discuss, like going over the code and stuff. Uh, if possible, I'll get it done today itself rather than uh, doing it tomorrow. All right, all right, that's cool. Nice. Yeah, let's see. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Um. All right, so I think uh, we can wrap it up. You guys get uh, 20 minutes back. So thank you for uh, connecting and have a good week. Thank you, have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank you, bye. -bye. Thank you. bye.